over the last eight weeks, we have been trying to understand the principles of yoga. We speak so much about yoga. Yoga today is so well known. But what are the basic principles of the science known as yoga? We need to study, we need to understand them, and we need to relate to them. That is the basic premise of Swadhyaya. And that is what we have been doing over the last nine weeks. We shall move ahead in the same, in the Swadhyaya of the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. We, this week, we have started from Sutra 42 to 46. We shall chant these sutras two times and then look at the meaning of Sutra 43. Let us begin. Tatra Shabdartha Dnyana Vikalpaihi Sankirna Savitarka Samapatihi Smruti Parishuddho Swarupa Shunye Vartha Matra Nirbhasa Nirvitarka Eta Yaiva Savichara Nirvichara Cha Sukshma Vishaya Vyakhyata Sukshma Vishayatvam Chalinga Paryavasanam Taeva Sabi Jaha Samadhi. Once again, Tatra Shabda Artha Dnyana Vikalpaihi Sankirna Savitarka Samapati. Smruti Parishuddho Swarupa Shunya Iva Artha Matra Nirbhasa Nirvitarka Etayahi Eva Savichara Nirvichara Cha Sukshma Vishaya Vyakhyata Sukshma Vishayatvam Cha Alinga Paryavasanam Ta Eva Sabijaha Samadhi O Let us look at the meaning of Sutra 43. After having spoken about the principles of the mind in this chapter of Samadhipad, Maharshi Patanjali now is speaking of details of Samadhi. Yesterday, we had a look at the Sutra 42, speaking of Savitarka Samadhi. And today, he speaks of Nirvitarka Samadhi. What does he say? Smriti, memory. Parishuddhav, complete purification. Swarupa, one's form. Shunya, absence of. Eva, as if. Artha Matra, only the meaning, the essence, that's all. Nirbhasa, shining, shines. Nirvitarka means after being completely purified of the reservoir of memories, the chitta becomes devoid of self-awareness, the awareness of the external identities and shines with the essence of its true knowledge. Such a state is Nirvitarka. When we speak of Samadhi, we feel it's one stage. But here, Maharshi Patanjali is explaining that there are different strata, different levels in Samadhi. And he is explaining different aspects of Samadhi. We will understand that we need to achieve a level after the next, after the next, after the next. When we come to the perfection, then we reach the level of Samadhi. But we who are miles away from such a state, what do we understand from this? How do we relate to this? That is what is very crucial 
especially when we are speaking of higher states like Samadhi. Completely purifying the reservoir of memories. We know very well that many times, almost all the time, we are affected by the memories of the past and that colors the perception of the present that generates a self-identity based on which we perceive the world and many times the essence, the real knowledge is missed out. The process of clearing these filters which distort the reality, the understanding of reality and therefore the actions to be taken needs to be modified. And for us, I believe this is the most important takeaway. To be able to purify the reservoirs of memory, to be able to get beyond the external identities and connect to the essence of the true knowledge which is within us. That is something which is important for us. And if we do this, then we progress on the path of yoga. This is the sutra for the day. And I would like all of you to try and spend a few moments in the day trying to ponder over what this means. Is it having any relevance in my life today? If so, what is the relevance? How can I attain that? And try to connect to the previous sutras wherein Maharshi Patanjali has in a stepwise, linear, very systematic manner tried to give us a complete overview of the process of yoga beginning from the initial definitions. Yogaha chitta vritti nirodhaha. And then speaking of nirodh, speaking of chitta, speaking of what is the end of that, what are the difficulties, what are the different methodologies by which one can achieve them. And then again he is coming to the culmination. How can we connect to this? How can we benefit from this? This is what I would like all of you to think whenever you have a moment or two. With this, we complete today's session. Let us sit in a comfortable meditative posture to chant the mantra Om three times and Shantipat to conclude. Hands on your knees in Jnan or Chin Mudra. Eyes and mouth gently closed. The head, neck, shoulders back in a straight line. The body completely relaxed. Bring your awareness back to the eyebrow center, Dhru Madhya. Reinstate the same image you had chosen in the beginning of the session. And doing so, we shall chant the mantra om three times followed by shantipa taking in a deep breath om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jotir Gamaya Mrityorma Mrutam Gamaya Sarvesham Swasti Bhavatu 
मंगल लोका समस्ता सुखिनो भवन्तु ओम त्र्यंबक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धनम उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओं शाति 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 हैंड्स इन प्रणाम मुद्रा वमेव माता च पिता तमेव तमेव बंधु सखा तमेव तमेव विद्या द्रविण तमेव तमेव सर्व मम देव देव तमेव सर्व मम देव देव तमेव सर्व मम देव देव हरि ओ हरिओं तत्सत जेंटली रब यू फॉर्म्स अगेंस्ट ईच अदर जनरेट सम वॉम प्लेस द पाम फ्रॉम द क्लोज आईज एक्सपीरियंस द वॉम रेडिएटिंग फ्रॉम द पाम्स टू योर आईज रिलैक्सिंग एंड एनर्जाइजिंग योर आईज योर ब्रेन योर होल बॉडी then gently moving the palms away open your eyes hari om tat sat namo narayan jai hind